Well, I have been in the IT industry for almost 40 years. Been in the corporate sector in companies like Wipro, IBM. Did a stint of entrepreneurship. Worked with uh, Bharti Telesoft, which is now Mahindra Comviva. I worked in the government of India in National Institute for Smart Government. Now I am an angel investor and mentor to startups. And I have been involved with the My Mobi Force for last couple of years. In my opinion, the traditional business models where a company would just hire regular employees and provide services to their customers that business model is undergoing a very significant change rather than having your own regular employees more and more companies are saying that we will work with individuals who are freelancers who provide services as and when they are available to provide those services the best examples have been ola and uber there are not employees they are individuals who provide some services for some limited point of time and are freelancers sometimes business picks up very significantly uh, sometimes it is on the low side so rather than having large number of people on your own um, workforce uh, organizations are very keen if they can convert their uh, fixed cost of having their own service technicians into a variable workforce which is available on demand at all the locations where you want to provide service so as a result of this kind of a model a lot of your fixed costs get converted to variable cost and it is flexible it can go up go down as the needs of the business are as well as you can cover far more locations than what you are able to do with your own sales force the need is very clearly there in the market it's a question of getting the whole business model working well and servicing this need effectively large number of organizations are very very interested in this model and i think this has a tremendous potential going forward now out of all the companies that i have been associated the uh, startups that i have been associated i think uh, my mobi force really stands out because it is servicing a very very critical need which exists in the market they are able to service it very effectively so i wish them all the best and i'm sure uh, dheeraj and his team of uh, other uh, founders will be able to build a very significant organization which can become the leading crowdsourcing platform in the country not just for the service sector but a large number of other sectors that they are targeting in the near future